Hey guys, it's Rachel, and today I have another review and demo for you guys, and this time it's on the Alme Smart Shade CC Concealer and Brightener. So this is what it looks like, and I picked this up for $8.99 at my local Rite Aid, and the reason I picked it up is because it really reminded me of the Benefit Erase page, because if you look at the bottom shade right here, it's like a pinky tone, and that really reminded me of the Erase page. And the reason I didn't like the Erase Paste, even though I used it for a really, really long time, is that it didn't set itself and it made all my mascara smudge and it just creased under my eyes really badly, so I gave that product away. And so when I saw this, I thought, you know, maybe it would be a good replacement of it. And I have to say, I really do like the brightening properties of this concealer. However, I don't think I will repurchase it. I will use it. It's not terrible, but it's not the best concealer out there. So I'm just going to insert a demo right now to show you guys how it works in action. And um, then I'll explain to you guys why I probably will not repurchase it. So the reason I use a brush to apply this product is because it can look really, really cakey. Um, I feel like if you use your fingers, you just grab way too much product and then you just swipe it underneath and then it just looks really, really cakey and doesn't look really nice. And on the topic of cakiness, make sure you moisturize your under eye circles very, very well before you do use this product just because it can really accentuate any dryness you have under your eyes and it will just go on really cakey looking and if you just moisturize under your eyes it will just glide on a lot more easily and look a lot better so if you have really dry under eyes this might not be for you so the texture of this product is not a dry kind of cream but it's not like very creamy either it's like a hard kind of cream where you have to like rub your finger in it to really warm it up before you could use it under your eyes and I find since it is this consistency, it doesn't really work well over blemishes. I find that the, the consistency is just kind of, not greasy, but like, I don't know, I guess kind of like greasy. And it just won't stick to the blemishes or cover them up. And it also won't cover up any like dark spots because it'll literally just slide right off of it. So the concealer side does not work really well. Um, but I just mix it in with the corrector side and I just use it underneath my eyes and it does a really good job of just brightening up the under eye. Another problem with this concealer is that it doesn't set itself very well. It sets itself better than the erase paste just because it's a little bit thinner in consistency, but it doesn't set itself very well, so you do need to use a, a powder to set the concealer if you don't want your mascara smudging or if you want it to stay in place. That being said, it does crease a little bit, not as much as the Benefit Erase Paste because as I said before, it's thinner in consistency. But it does crease and you just need to pat it, you know, every so often under your eyes to make it smooth out. But it's not as much of a problem as the Benefit Erase Paste was. Also, since it is a CC Smart Shade, it claims to kind of match your skin tone. And I don't know if I just picked a good shade or not, but I really don't see it, like, changing to match my skin tone. When I apply it, it pretty much just looks like that throughout the day. It doesn't like shift color to match my skin tone any better. So overall, I would not repurchase that this concealer. I do feel like it does do its job. It does brighten your under eye, but it does have a couple flaws. It's kind of difficult to work with, but you can make it work. So it's not a terrible product, but it's not the best out there. It probably would be better for people who don't have dry under eyes like myself, which may be why it doesn't work super well for me. I feel like if you didn't have dry under eyes, this would be a really nice product. But I can make it work as long as I moisturize, use a brush, and set it really well with a powder. So it's not horrible, it's not completely useless, but there are better products out there. So that is my overall review on the Alme Smart Shade CC Brightener and Concealer. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!